to 400 people have made their way to Las Vegas where the Glass Association of North America's Building Envelope Contractors Conference is taking place. I'm Ellen Rogers, editor of U.S. Glass Magazine, and for the next two days we'll be bringing you all the news and reports from what's become a must-attend event for the contract glazing industry. While the general sessions began today, the BEC Technical Committee met yesterday. Chuck Knickerbocker of Technical Glass Products chairs that committee, and he told us about some of the projects that are currently in the works. We're doing a boatload of manuals right now. We've got the uh, uh, project manager's manual going through an update, the blueprint reading course going through an update. Uh, we're trying to put a fenestration manual together that's basically uh, a two a primer for people new to the business. What's a glass mullion system? What's a point supported glaze for people who uh, don't know what those things are? So we've got a lot of balls up in the air. Uh, we've just completed the face clearance issue with regard to uh, some of the 3M products that are coming in the market. A lot going on right now. Yesterday's technical session also included three presentations. John McFarland of Wheaton and Sprague talked about the benefits of BIM for curtain wall. Jim Benny of the National Fenestration Rating Council discussed energy codes and the NFRC's commercial ratings program. And Julie Schimmelpenning with Eastman Chemical gave a presentation covering advanced glazing solutions with a focus on school security. You can read more about these three presentations in today's USGNN leading news story. Now last night we also attended the opening reception and we had the chance to talk to some of the attendees about what they're hoping to gain from this year's event. It's really it's about it's about networking and, and uh, getting together with uh, with friends and, and uh, people in the business. Uh, see a lot of suppliers here, consultants and uh, major manufacturers. So look forward to uh, re reacquainting with uh, with some old friends. Well, you get to see a bunch of suppliers you work with. Get to see other colleagues in the industry from different parts of the country. So it's nice to connect with them. Guys from the West Coast, guys from uh, other markets we don't go into. Well, it's always good to come here and learn new things and see people that we haven't seen in a while. So there's always new technology going on. Like today I was in the uh, uh, technical meetings and listening to some new ideas on BIM and uh, Julie did something nice on uh, the laminated glass in schools and so I learned a lot from that. I think the BEC uh, is quite a good event for networking. You know, you meet so many people from the industry here in order to uh, exchange the knowledge uh, which is uh, currently state of the art, especially in regards to uh, the building envelope. And um, yeah, I'm thrilled to uh, to see all these people, which you actually um, well don't see all the time during the during the entire year. And uh, I'm also quite um, well excited about all these speeches, which are going to be done to, tomorrow. That wraps up our day one coverage of the 2014 BEC conference. Be sure and look to USGNN this week for more news and reports from the event. Thanks for watching.